Hi and welcome to Wrong Way and this is the Black Deal Day protective shirt. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. And right away, also big thanks to Black Deal Day for reaching out, here's your logo too, and providing me with this shirt. Well, I got this shirt and actually this one and this design is, which I like a bit more, uh, for free, but I do not get any kickbacks, any affiliate links, blah, blah, blah. You can just check out their stuff in the link below. And first I was thinking that, you know, I can't uh, just put it on because of my cast. But actually, if you do have your arm in a cast, it's, you can just still put it on because it has a small zipper here and a button. And therefore the cast will still fit through your, for the shirt. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you, like, there's lots of you that will, would benefit from that. Anyways, this is a protective shirt. So what that means is a couple of things. Black Deal Day designed this thing to be comfortable, but yet also protective. So we have one, two, uh, is this in? Two, three, uh, four, five. I'll just, I'll just take these out par uh, parts out later. Um, 3DO protectors that are very you know soft once you touch them, but if you hit them hard they become really, really hard. That's what she said. This is a protective shirt, which has these level two certified protectors. And it's also just not made from the material you see on the outside here or here, uh, but it also actually has Kevlar inside, it's some 20, 250 grade Dupont Kevlar in these uh, areas here, which are, you know, uh, prone to scratching, so if you were to just fall on asphalt, it, it wouldn't just obliterate right away. But these protectors are also pretty well placed, so they don't move around too much, and they also fit pretty tightly in the shirt, and uh, which is nice, because you don't want these protectors to just move around if you fall. The most important thing is the first impact, and then they might turn around, but uh, yeah, the first impact is the most important thing, then you're just basically scratching your skin which you know which hurts so just going out in the shirt i didn't think i was would use it a lot but actually it's super comfortable and i usually also take out the back protector here i have this one equipped with the back protector this one is without it this is how the back protector looks like because most of the time i'm riding with my bobblebee backpack looks like this it has its cars on this side and this side and this is just my way to go because I don't sweat that much if I have a backpack with a uh, back protector with with this back protector I can already feel feel I'm a bit I'm, I'm sweating a bit the shirt is quite comfy it has additional you know pockets here sadly there are no pockets on the inside that's maybe something they could add in a future version and there are no pockets here so it's you know just like a shirt no bonuses here and it has a, a additional liner underneath so it's actually a bit thicker than a regular shirt it has these zippers here the buttons and the cool thing is that you, you actually do have a zipper just way you know quicker to just get that but just in case you also have the buttons so you know, whatever suits your needs. If you just have the buttons, it will be also a bit colder. And riding in like 15 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees Celsius, even a bit warmer is totally fine in this shirt. I, yeah, I, I actually didn't think I would use it that much. So if we take a look on the inside here, boom. Um, I'll just move the camera a bit. You can see the back protector is here, really snugly fit. The same thing applies to this um, shoulder protector and if we just remove that real quick we should do like like so so this is how the this is how the shoulder protector looks like really soft and squishy 
but if you hit it hard, it'll, it'll become really hard. Underneath this layer here, there should be some Kevlar. So actually the yellow stuff you can see here, hopefully you can see it on camera, this is Kevlar. So this will prevent you know, any ripping off uh, of the shirt too easily if you would fall. So that's really cool. It's not on the whole thing, it's not on the whole shirt, but it's in the most important areas like uh, the shoulders once again here on the back and on uh, the side here. There are also some reflective parts on the shirt like here and here up in the front the logo and which I would probably like the most is a big logo in the rear which is also uh, reflective. This helps you being seen in the night and as you know me I also have like these stripes here on my backpack being visible is is really important. So now I'll just show you the second shirt. So most of the time I was riding in this guy, which is like totally the same when it comes to the, you know, how it's how it's made, but I like the color way more. Well, one thing I'm missing here is the lack of a rear reflector, uh, but yeah, maybe they could add it in some sort of uh, later version. And it's, it's essentially just the difference of a color. And there are different colors available, available at Black Deal Day. It's actually a French site. And there is a green, gray, red, blue, and orange. And maybe another one which I forgot. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I, I mean, uh, if I don't have the back protector on, it's also like it's it's not that warm to to sit just in this shirt and at a restaurant or just somewhere if it's not too warm. So yeah, I think this is like a really really cozy solution if you just ride outside. You ride you know 40 50 kilometers an hour. I think up to that speed it will be fine. But I'll also show you just as an update or reminder what I usually use use if I go faster and what I use to protect my knees and, and my feet. So I also, when, it, when I go faster, I have this Shima jacket. It's a Polish company. It also has all the protectors. And once again, I have the back protector out. I just ride with the bobble bee. And the cool thing about it is that you have this material here. It's just scratch resistant. So if you go, wanna go really fast, it's better to take a jacket um, and better to take some protective pants. These do also have uh, the, the, um, the pads, the protective pads, also have hip protection here, knee protection, and most importantly, if you were to fall, this, every, everything is like scratch proof. So yeah, you won't get any open wounds if you fall. This is probably like the most uh, dangerous thing because you can break a bone and you know, you can somehow, you know, Re, it can just get realigned or you can grow it back, but it's difficult to just, you know, get your skin back, which was on the asphalt or bleed and stuff. Not nice. So, yeah, if you go faster, you need motorcycle gear. Uh, usually I ride with, uh, I mean, I always ride with knee protectors. I have these from O'Neill, which are just really easy to, to put on and quite comfortable, but I know that they're not the safest uh, ones on the market. You have to really like tighten them down to uh, have them not move. And what I do then is I use these 661 pads. You can see they're scratched. Uh, these are great, they move less. And you should wear them on your skin, on your knees, but it's also sort of good if you put them directly on your pants, but you should wear them underneath the pants. So. This is better than the O'Neill ones. And if I were, I'm just wearing pants like these, I would put these Liat protective <laughs> diaper <laughs> underneath because, you know, hips, that's just something you don't expect. You, if you fall, probably you'll injure your hip. I had, you know, a couple of falls and always it's, it's the hip. So that's why I bought these. And surprisingly enough, they're actually quite comfortable. Of course, not to wear the whole day, but still pretty good. Uh, if you ride EOC and if you ride um, scooters, if you ride e-skate, wrist guards are, in my opinion, a must-have. I mean, I still have to check how I would ride on an e-scooter with a wrist guard, but if I had a wrist guard, I wouldn't have this. So if you ride EOC, e-skate, so like, don't even think about it, get wrist guards. These are for 
6 euro or 7 euro from Decathlon. Uh, soon I'll get pretty cool wrist guards from G G Giro riders uh, from France. They, are, they have wrist guards with integrated gloves. So this will be really cool. And last but not least, always ride with a helmet. This is my helmet of choice daily. Um, O'Neill backflip Muerta. I've just removed the lid up in the front because it's more comfortable to store it in a backpack or just put it on a wheel. And yeah, it just does the job sort of well. It doesn't have the MIPS, but I think it's just a great helmet, really comfortable, really good visibility. Yeah, and it has the fit lock, so it's really easy to put on and off, just magnetic strap. And I also just got the Drift Ghost XL camera. Uh, just a um, dash cam sort of. If you're, if you're interested about a camera, I can make a separate video about it. So, yeah, protective gear, but most importantly, these shirts are really cool. Um, they're really comfortable. If you ride without gear, just get this. This will be good. And yeah, huge thanks once again to Black Deal Day for sending these out to me to check these out and ride in these. So, if you're still here, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. I know, I'm just super happy, okay? I can be super happy, you can be too. <laughs> see you soon.